Hey guys, Scott and Nate from playercourt.com and today we're gonna show you how to hit a beginner overhead. All right guys, so today we're talking about how to hit an overhead. To be clear, this video is for beginners or players with a player court rating of 40 and below. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Nate, I get up to the net, it's not time for a volley. The ball sails up, it's an overhead. Talk to me, what, what, what is an overhead here? I, I'm a beginner, I don't understand really what this stroke is all about. Tell me about the overhead. Most of you guys are gonna run right back to the baseline because you hate being at net, but this is the single most important stroke to really embrace the net. If of all strokes, the one thing that we all want is this overhead, all right? And this is really where the ball is lofted up, it's got some space and you're gonna get under it and you're gonna spike it. You're gonna just crush like you that thing, crush right? Crush it, yeah, just like you would in volleyball. And as a beginner, I think a lot of us are maybe nervous to get this shot, but as we practice this and get better at it, this is really an opportunity to win the point and to be aggressive and to do some good things. So we're gonna break here and show you exactly what this stroke looks like. All right, so the first thing we wanna talk about when this ball goes up over our head is what happens immediately. And there's a couple things happening simultaneously here that I want you to think about. First, both hands, both my pointer hand and my racket hand are gonna go up in the air and I'm simultaneously gonna get turned sideways. So I might be in a ready position like this. I see that ball is coming up. My entire body is gonna turn 90 degrees to the right and both arms are gonna go up. You see my knees are just slightly bent. I'm not looking to get a ton of power here from my legs, but this just gives me the, the stance that I need to deliver the most power. So step one, ball comes up, everything turns, hands go up. The number one mistake we're gonna see as coaches is hands go up and nothing turns, all right? So as you're thinking about these overheads, remember to turn your hips and your shoulders 90 degrees as those hands go up. The second most common mistake that I see is not understanding what this pointer hand is actually doing, which is pointing. So when you're thinking about tracking the ball, I want you to use, I'm right-handed, so my left hand, your non-dominant hand, I want you to use this non-dominant hand to find the ball. And the mistake that I've seen when I coach is a lot of players pointing with five fingers. You wouldn't take a gun with five sights on it, that'd be very confusing, same concept. You're not gonna take aim at the ball with five fingers loosely pointing in the general direction. I want you to either put your fingers together where you're pointing like an arrow or to point with one finger to make sure that arm is helping you find the ball. So now that we've figured out what we're doing with our upper body, we're getting our arms up, we're turning everything sideways, we're looking over our shoulder with our chin, it's time to talk about our feet. And I see a lot of mistakes here, the most common of which is that our upper body is changing as we move to the left. So what I want you to think about here is when you get into this trophy stance, everything is frozen, right? So from my hips up, my shoulders, my arms, nothing above my waist is gonna change. So if the ball moves this way, that means my feet are gonna get me there. I'm not gonna open up and follow the ball this way and hit with an open shoulder base. I'm gonna stay squared up where I'm turned. I'm gonna use my feet to get me in the position I need to be. And remember, I'm using this arm to focus and to find the ball. So what we're gonna do before we even swing or talk about how to make contact with the ball is I want you to try this drill to figure out how to track the ball correctly. One of the problems that I see, like I said, is just we're not doing a good job of taking this arm and tracking the ball correctly. We're opening up too soon. So there's actually a drill I wanna show you where you're gonna let the ball bounce and track it and freeze in trophy stance and see, did you actually catch the ball here? or did you make the mistake and open up? So we're gonna show you that drill now. So I would start as if I was expecting a volley and then that overhead would come in, the ball goes up. I immediately turn sideways and I start tracking the ball with my left hand. You'll notice my chin is still over my shoulder. Let's show you what this would look like if you did it the wrong way. The wrong way, you wouldn't actually use that tracking mechanism or keep the ball on the right side of your body you would just follow the ball with open shoulders. This is the mistake that we see that we don't want to happen. So again, let's show you what correct looks like. I'm in ready position, the ball goes up. I track with my left hand, I'm pointing to find it. You'll notice my chin's still over my right shoulder, my body's completely turned, both arms are up. That's what we're looking for. Now we're gonna dive in and talk about how to make contact with the ball. 
All right, so now that we've talked about how to track the ball, we've got to actually figure out and talk about how to hit this thing. So the first thing I want to quickly address, and this is not a lesson on grips, but we want you holding the continental grip. If you don't know what that means, check out our video on all the different tennis grips. But the continental grip, the same grip you should have on your volleys as well as on your serve, is the grip that you need in this position to generate the snap that's going to give you the power you want to hit a great overhead. So now that we know, just to recap, We've got our ready position, we've turned sideways, our arms have gone up, we're tracking that ball with my left hand or our non-dominant hand. What we need to talk about now is how do we move up to the ball to actually make contact. And this is gonna be somewhat similar to a serve, much less complicated, there's, there's no racket drop, there's no big motion, it's just a simple movement up. But then I want you to think just as if you're hitting a serve, I want you to swing up and make contact as high as you can, snap that wrist, and come back around and give yourself sort of a bear hug here at the end of the stroke. And one other thing to really keep in mind here, people always ask, how long do I keep this pointer arm up for? Longer than you think. If you drop this arm too early, what you'll see is my head and my shoulders drop, which is gonna cause me to hit a lot of balls down into the net. So think about keeping that arm up as long as you physically can. It'll make sure you're not missing in the net. Your right arm or your racket hand is gonna replace that pointer, non-dominant hand at contact, almost like you're doing a somersault, and that racket's gonna snap and come around your body in sort of a hug formation to finish up. To give you guys just a really good view of what this looks like, I'm gonna hit a couple for you now. So as you'll see, I'm in ready position at the net. The ball goes up, both arms go up. I track, I make high contact, and I follow through around my opposite hip. Let's take a look and see one more. Tracking sideways, high contact, hug on the follow through. So now let's take a look at an example. And I want you to pay very close attention to my feet here of when I get pulled as a right-handed player to the left. This is the mistake we addressed before where we see a lot of players open up with their hips and shoulders to track this ball where we wanna see everything from the waist up frozen and your feet getting you there. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Upper body's locked. I'm tracking with my left arm but my feet are doing all of the work of moving me to the left. My upper body stays the same. Scott, some great material there. Um, I, I think the folks out there will uh, appreciate those tips. Bring us home, give us some in summation what we can focus on to really get this overhead firing. Most definitely, so I think there's really just a couple things to think about. The first one is when that ball goes up, everything gets turned sideways and your arms go up. Second thing, use that non-dominant hand in a pointing motion. Make sure you're not just throwing a, a loose hand out there. Make sure you're pointing at the ball, using your non-dominant hand to track. With that continental grip, reach up and snap at height, as, as high as you can make contact, and follow through around your opposite hip. I think those three things, if you focus, especially when you're just getting started, are gonna lead to a very good overhead that you can keep building on. All right, Scott, some solid stuff there. Hey, thank you. You're very welcome, sir. Guys, here at Play Your Court, we really want to see you improve your game. Fortunately, we just don't know a lot about your game specifically. It's true. We don't know you. So do us a favor. Click the button below. Answer some questions for us about your specific skill level. And I myself, and I guess Nate also, will send you some custom video coaching based on your specific skill level. Just click the button or the link below and we'll do the rest.